uh, <laughs> how did I get in a tutorial video? I have never done one of these before, but I'm gonna give it my best shot and do it all in one go. So a couple days ago I got a Christmas tree and uh, I have nothing to put on it because the only uh, Christmas thing that I own is a little stuffed animal toy I got as a child in a Happy Meal. So we are going to try to make something that's floating around in my brain matter telling me it's a good idea. And it's hopefully gonna look good. All you're gonna need, if you're gonna follow along, is some thin gauge metal. I'm using some steel siding that I happen to have. Uh, once you have that, you're also gonna want something that looks like this, which is just a wire, essentially. This came from a flower bed, little decorative fencing thing, but you could also use like a coat hanger or something like that. Uh, as for tools, all you're going to need is a hammer, some pliers, a punch, and some snips. Once you've acquired everything, make sure that you have a nice, tidy work surface and a buddy to uh, accompany your frustration. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your thin gauge steel or whatever, take your snips, and begin cutting out little squares. Now I already have a whole bunch cut out for making some other crafty craft things, so I'm kind of ahead of the game here. Now I know that you already know what the end product of the ornament looks like because you saw the thumbnail, and I'm imagining there's a picture of one right here, but uh, I don't actually know what it looks like. All I do know is that you're gonna wanna cut out a bunch of different sized squares because it matters depending on where they're gonna go on the ornament. Bam! Okay, once you've cut out all your squares, get yourself a beater block, take your handy dandy hammer, your punch, grab a square, throw it on the beater block, punch a hole through it like so, put it aside, and then repeat for every other square that you cut out. separate the different sizes roughly into their own groups and then promptly realize that you probably cut way too many. Uh, from there all you got to do is take your coat hanger or wire or whatever you're using, take your pliers, bend a little hook on one end like so. Now depending on what kind of pliers you have, the design will help you bend it. So once you have something like that, you're ready to start assembling. Now to assemble mine, I'm taking my smallest pieces. You can see they're kind of bent out of shape from beating the holes in them, punching the holes out, uh, which is kind of good. That's actually kind of the shape you want. But for example, you're gonna take a piece like this, cut a couple slots in it maybe, take your pliers, bend it down a little bit to kind of give it a cone, ish shape. Now these aren't going to be super realistic or anything, they're more of an abstract design, but you'll kind of be able to figure out as you go, as I am, because again, I don't know what these are going to look like until it's done. So you have a piece like that and then keep going. Your next piece you might not even want to cut it down or bend it that much. Just kind of whatever you think looks good. Now it, the thicker your sheet metal the harder it's going to be to bend it with your hands or even with pliers so make sure that you get a material that's easy and pliable. Once you've kind of messed around with it and kind of gotten a shape that you like for your smallest pieces move on to the bigger size, slip a piece on, bend it how you will or don't bend it depending on what looks good to you. So as I've been putting new pieces on, graduating through the sizes, I've been going back and snipping certain pieces and then bending them in certain ways just to give it a fuller look. Feel free to do whatever you need to do with yours. Some of them I'm bending and some of them I'm not, just based on whatever I think looks good aesthetically. Kind of want it to look like a tree, right? But also look manufactured in a certain way. Kind of look abstract, I guess you could say. Just so it looks more ornamental than uh, than uh, decorative. Although those are probably the same thing. 
<laughs> and I'm trying to keep it somewhat tight so that we have a uh, kind of a general idea of, of what size we're going to go for, what height we're going to go for. And uh, these little squares have the punch out dealios on them, so I'm alternating those sometimes just so it gives it kind of a space in here. I don't know, that probably doesn't make much sense. You might be able to tell that I'm not much of a teacher. All right now, once you have your desired uh, ornament size, push it up as far as you can on the stem, if you will. Assess the size of your stem and then cut it off about twice the length that you want it to be. So in my case, I wanna have the stem be this big. So I'm going to cut it off about twice that to about here. Now my pliers have a cutting feature on them, so I'm gonna cut it with those. <laughs> oh, man, this is made out of like Mandalorian armor. <laughs> okay. After failing at that for long enough, grab some bolt cutters or something and then snip it off. Way better. From there, find the middle of your stem, make a mark or a mental note of where it is, and pull this as tight as you can. Take your pliers, go to a little shy of your half mark on the long side, and then bend it in half. Once you have it bent into place, you should have something that looks like this or something like that. If you decide that your tree ornament shape is too tight, what you can always do is you can cut your stem on the uh, long side a little bit back so that you have a little more play in your little sheet metal. So I'm gonna take my bolt cutters. You can take your whatever tool you're using, welding torch, plasma cutters, whatever and then cut that and then it relaxes a little bit. Do your last bit of adjustments with maybe bending some stuff, rotating, whatever you think is going to basically make it look best. Now remember this is made out of garbage so if you mess up it doesn't matter. Once you have your shape all good, take a piece of wire, ribbon, twine, whatever, loop it through your first loopy loopy thing and uh, create a hanging apparatus. I'm just using a little piece of tie wire, but I don't know what other options there are. I don't craft. Take your snips, snip off the sharp part, although the rest is sharp as well. You'll eventually get something that looks something like that, ready to hang. Now, before you move on to another task of decorating your tree, make sure that you Clean off your workspace so that you have a nice uh, clean spot to come back to to make your next thing. Now is this something to be proud of? Not really. If you don't like it, you can always hide it amongst all the other decorations and not worry about anyone seeing it, thus avoiding embarrassment. So you can probably tell that I don't do tutorials, I'm not much of a teacher, but you know, we came up with something. This was supposed to be more of a demonstration on how I can be inspired by something, think of how to maybe do it in my head and then uh, make it come uh, into reality. So this is uh, kind of inspired by how people reclaim things and put them on their trees, such as pine cones in this instance. People often go outside, get some nice big pine cones, spray paint them silver, or gold or something like that and then put them on their tree. This is supposed to look like a pine cone sort of that also looks like a tree and instead of using spray paint I just used the, the color that the metal 
already was with some white, so it kind of looks like snow. And, I mean, is this the best ornament I could have made? No, not really. But, again, this was an experiment. I thought uh, it would look kind of cool, and I figured I would try to do a video, and since this would be a really short build video, I made a tutorial. Feel free to make one, or feel free to disregard this, because this isn't the prettiest thing you're going to put on your tree. And it actually is quite heavy. Let's see if it actually will work on the tree, though. Well, yeah, once it dangles in there, that looks, that looks okay. In any case, I now have two Christmas decorations to uh, write home about, so overall, it's a win. <laughs> oh man, I could have hit the piano there. Oh, oh well. Didn't, nothing's damaged. Oh man. I'm so glad I didn't hit the piano. Yeah. I think you actually did. Did I? 